Hi, my name's Jay Howie. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about something super important in blues playing, and that is the almighty turnaround. Let's get into it. All right, today we are looking at turnarounds, something that I think are an essential part of any 12 bar blues. But what is a turnaround? So a turnaround is a part in a 12 bar blues, normally played on measures 11 and 12, uh, to indicate that we're going back to the start of the 12 bars. So we're going back to bar one, and then we're gonna repeat our 12 bars for infinity. Now, turnarounds are also cool because they can also be used as intros to a blues song. So, you know, it's really cool to have a fair few ideas, of different turnarounds that you can use because you can uh, use them as intros, you can change them up each time you get to the end of a 12 bar blues. Um, so normally with a 12 bar, it would be the one chord in bar in bar 11 uh, and we're going to the fifth chord in bar 12 and then we're going back to the one chord for our first measure of the 12 bar again. Now, there is some variations to these sometimes. A slow blues will typically go from the one chord to the four chord, back to the one chord, and then to the fifth chord. Um, just because it's a slower a slower blues. So, you know, there's, there's all sorts of variations that can happen in a turnaround. But today we're gonna talk about some pretty basic ideas around what we can use as turnarounds. And we're gonna have some examples. So stick around, we're gonna get into it, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to play a turnaround. So the first example we're gonna look at today is in the key of E, and we're gonna be using a chromatic idea, and we're gonna be descending uh, in sixth on the first and third strings. Um, and it's a turnaround that I'm pretty sure you would have heard if you've listened to blues music before. So let's take a look at it. Now this next lick is also in the key of E. Uh, we don't use a chromatic descending idea for this one. Instead, we're gonna throw in a nice lick, something that Steve Ray Vaughan used to do. So let's have a look at that one. Now this next lick is in the key of A and it is another chromatic descending turnaround. Uh, you would have heard this one probably in a ZZ Top song, I reckon. Um, so what this one does is we descend from the flat seven all the way down to the fifth and we have an underlying pedal tone of our A note on the fifth fret of our first string. So let's have a look at this one. So this one is another chromatic descending idea, but in the key of C. And this one has an octave pedal tone um, going. So we have uh, the C on the fifth string and the C on the second string while we play this. And again, we're gonna chromatically descend from the flat seven down to the fifth. I don't know if you're starting to see a pattern, but I am. And now we're gonna take a look at a movable turnaround lick. Um, so this one is in the key of C, and uh, you'll notice that we go up with a major arpeggio, we come back down on the blue scale, and this one can be moved all around the neck for any key that you wanna play in, but for the sake of the example, we're gonna be in the key of C. So let's take a look at that. So 
So there's enough turnaround licks there for you to get by in any blues situation that you come across. Um, now, with anything blues related, there's always room for variation within these licks and for you to add your own little spice on top of them and uh, you know add in things that aren't there when you learn the licks, bends, hammer-ons, whatever. You can add that stuff in, you can make these licks your own and you can just keep advancing and you know there's so many turnarounds in the world that you know it's endless i couldn't make enough videos on turnarounds but they are essential and you know you need to learn them um and you'll be able to get by in any blues jam that you come across and look like you know what you're doing so um keep on keeping on with those turnarounds that's it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate you tuning in, letting me waffle, watching me play guitar and playing along, I hope. Um, if you do like this video, make sure you leave a comment, uh, a like and subscribe to the channel too. That helps me out heaps. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.